Yeah, Casper, Kelly Kel. Yeah, Fidelity yeah. in this bitch. Big Fidel. Uh huh, uh huh. Let's get this yo. Come on, let's bug out on some shit, niggas. Come on. What's really hood? My brains are gone, uh. When I spark up the scarma, strap with heavy armor. Cause it's death before the sauna, born sinner. Indian giver with tendencies of a skinner. Tired of losing, so team up with these winners. I get my roll on. Mix it up with missiles and photons. Get it on, show it. All right, all right, guys. This is Casper Velrock Well from Money Flip Media. We're here in the building with Mr. Manny Ramirez. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Casper. All right, all right. So we're here in Nashville, New Hampshire. And I just wanted to say I'm proud of you and the work that you've been doing out here for the community and everything. So can you just quickly break down for everybody listening right now? What is PSA and what does PSA mean to you? Well, PSA stands for Positive Street Art. And basically what we do is um, we do a lot of empowering to the youth in, the commu- in, in our community. Um, we are out here in uh, Nashville, New Hampshire, so it's not necessarily um, a big inner city, but it's a small city. And uh, we, all, we definitely think that wherever there's kids in need, then we definitely need to help out and uh, uh, guide the kids through, um, through, through the times, period. Um, and uh, what we do is basically we teach at like local um, after school pro uh, after school um, organizations like Boys and Girls Club and and PAL, um, and we also do um, a lot of local events that are based around the arts. Um, so we'll have like a um, a live art battle. We'll bring together um, four artists, and they basically life paint against each other until um, uh, the one rises above all. And by uh, uh, by judges, and then we get give that that um, that artist uh, a prize. So basically, in this past year, the prize was to take the the, the artist and made it to the top um, to Florida for Art Basel, which is one of the biggest events in in art period. Um, so we did that, and um, and then we do other events like um, Downtown Arts Fest, which is basically kind of like inspired by hip hop in general. Like this, we have a lot of a lot of uh, uh, artists, like rappers, singers, uh, bands um, that, that showcase their work on the stage. And then we have uh, an entire gallery. And this happens outside in the community, where whether it's a park um, or is uh, an outdoor venue. Um, and we have all things art. And we have a lot of things for kids, a lot of activities. Um, and... Um, Again, the, the arts, the art battles. We have uh, an art gallery. We have the artists uh, playing music, um, and then we'll have the dancers putting in together the four elements of hip hop right there. Um, nice. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of like the gist of what we do. Um, we do a lot of uh, outreach into the community to help out the kids and to basically bring. Um, the art world out in our community because we definitely need it. There's a lot of it's a lot of art in our community, but it's definitely all sectioned off, and we like to uh, put it together and um, make it one big kind of like art um, celebration. So, yeah, like uh, one like basically celebrate the arts. You know, wherever there's arts, the everything else thrives around it. You know, arts bring everything together. You know, I, I have I have a friend who's um um. Who's uh, who's a Japanese and like he doesn't speak a lot of English, so like we like communicate through dance. So like that's that's like uh, and like art makes it makes the communication happen, like make the flow of communication happen much easier. So, you guys talk through body language, basically. Exactly, and then at, 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 with not just that, so like there's a lot of different types of arts. Um, and a lot of ways to express itself. So like if you just find that one thing that's artistic, um, people understand it, like regardless of what language you speak. Um, so like if you like to paint and you paint something that's beautiful, people would understand what that is without, without you having to, to put words into it. Um, and if it's like, if it's dance, people would understand that. If it's, if it's music, people would understand that too. So. Visualizing, vibrations, yeah. you know, this is, I was trying to explain to my son KV a little bit about the vibrations in the universe, what you put out there comes back. So it's definitely awesome stuff. This is really great. That's why um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Johnny Torres. And um, do you have any specific like 
funny or great stories that you would want to share about a positive street art? Let's say something happened at an event or anything you could think of real quick that you could just share with us. You just put, caught me off guard there because I can't think of anything right about now. All I'm pretty right. sure there's like a thousand, but... All right, cool. We'll, we'll just keep on and if something pops up, you say, oh, yeah. remember that story you said yeah, one yeah. time at band camp? <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to it. All right, so let's just say if for whatever reason, right, you had to move PSA from Nashua, let's just say, right, where would be the ideal location that you would want to make a new start for the organization? You could pick anywhere in the world. Where would you take PSA? Ooh, you just got me good in that one too. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, at first I like I was thinking like you know still locals somewhat like to the east because I know Nashville is very important because said- your uh, your family is from here. Yeah, you're really a New York person, but yeah. everything. Is, yeah, my is kids based. are here, so like basically where my kids are, that's where my life is. Um, and then a lot of my my close friends now are here, you know. So like I'm not. Mm-hmm. I can't, where I can't just pick up and leave everybody behind. Um, but at the same time, like if in, in a perfect world, um, if you had to pick a new location for a new start to branch off and say, let's say there's an opportunity that's being offered, would off the top, like, did you ever think of that in the future, like having to start a new branch of yeah. PSA or something like that? What would you think would be like a cool place that you think it would thrive and do really well? I would say Miami, because there's already like art is being ex- as accepted like in all ways in Miami like like street art to begin to to be specific like that's what my art is is in, in street art and like street art is like has blown up in Miami street art has always been well graffiti has always been a huge part of New York mm-hmm. um, um, but not necessarily um, it hasn't really been accepted by the the whole entire um, uh, population as as a whole um, so I I would love to go there it's definitely changing a lot too now there's a lot of organizations in New York um, but I I would like I would choose more Miami because of the weather I'm I'm, I'm from Dominican Republic I'm, I'm, I'm a warm weather kid I'm living in the north now so it's like it's a little weird but I still like I don't know I think it's because of the community here that I'm still like I, I I'm cool with the snow days and not like having to shovel your car for like shoving your car to your driveway for like 25 30 minutes before you you got to wake up an hour before so you can get the car to the driveway like I'm cool with that um, just because of the community that we have here um, but if I like if I can move and it would be a perfect scenario it would probably be Miami and my second choice would be New York it'll be the city back home you don't gotta speak too much about nyc <laughs> you know what i'm saying we know that that's like the capital of the world where everything is at and yes, you went to school there too so yeah. you can get back to some of the roots so um what are ways like different ways we all know that facebook instagram twitter snapchat you know google with the email and all that that's all great and that's a huge part of everyday life like i think these kids right now are tweeting or dming or something at this moment but um what would be other ways that you feel that you would want to see people share the movement or spread the word and get more information out there in the world to you know help psa grow and get out there um I think the main, the easiest way for, for people to get in contact with us is, is definitely Facebook. Um, um, we have a board of six and everybody uses Facebook and we like basically share our story through Facebook the best way um, and it gets out to people faster that way. Um, we have a website, it's positivestreetart.org, um, but that's, there's no, like it's, it's like kind of like a, uh, it's not it's not an interactive thing like like website is where like if somebody puts, a, puts out a comment, you know, everybody else gets to see the comment and people get, you know, like how Facebook works. Mm-hmm. Um, websites don't work that way. So it's basically like if you need to, to contact us for donations, for for um, um, to get in, um, collaborate with us and more information, further information, definitely send us an email um, or contact, uh, fill out the, the contact page on our, on our website. But if you just want to just find out more about the organization and you're just curious and you just want to see what we do the best place to go is facebook um and that's uh positive street art on facebook that's all you gotta type it's pretty easy were you the person that um you did the logo for psa correct yeah so about 
close to six years ago, um, me and, and uh, my girlfriend now, um, we founded Positive Street Art and we were going about um, coming up with the name and like story, it's been so long, story is still kind of hazy, but um, we started drawing a bunch of stuff and then I was, we were like, it has to be something positive. Like we came up with all these names and we just, the one word that we're like, it has to be positive. positive, positive like positive. like all these words can be miscon- misconstrued, you yeah. know, like, but you, it has to be a positive word. And they kind of all ended on street art because that was like our main goal. We wanted to like, um, kind of like promote street arts within our community because we feel like street arts are under- undermined uh, like greatly around the world. Um, now it's definitely becoming a little more mainstream, but still undermined. There's artists out there that are painting on walls for free. They're not getting paid for this. They're just putting their heart out and their expression on, on the wall for the world to see. Um, and these are people that studied, like learn from the masters, not by being taught by the masters themselves, but by studying the master's work and people don't recognize that and they think that's just, that's just graffiti and that's just that's just vandalism and whatever um and we think that it's undermined so definitely we wanted to have something with street art on it and we wanted to make it positive so break, it just that, became, break down the logo i was looking at it today and i was trying to figure out is it a um what's that building that's in the on the island with the light going around or there's something up like a lighthouse yeah is that what it is in the form so of a building or it's a house so okay. so it's so it's, it's two things so it's kind of like when we first started we wanted to have like a home for street arts so we kind of like um wanted to, to the logo to have kind of two meanings so it kind of looks like a spray paint can mm-hmm. and it also looks like a tall house you know? Okay. So that's kind of what was the 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 thought process behind that. It explains a lot. Yeah. Cool, man. That's so cool. So, um, you guys are a not for profit organization, correct? Yeah, we're a five hundred one c three nonprofit. All so right. basically, any funds that you uh, contribute to us, um, they're all taxable donations. Um, yeah. And you guys do a lot of events and do a lot of community work. So I just wanted to ask and see if you could shed a little bit of light for those who don't know how hard this kind of work really is. When oh, you- sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the taxable donations. They're oh. not taxable. They're tax exempt donations. Okay, big that's difference. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so that means you can claim them on your taxes. That's what that means. That means that they're not gonna be they're not gonna be taxing you on those donations. Okay, okay. It's not like you just get to wipe it off. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. still a transaction that has to go through. <laughs> yeah. So like that's not an easy thing to do, you know what I'm saying? And it's been how many years now? Uh we're going on five years in January nineteen. Five years. Okay, yeah. so I just wanted to ask to shed a little bit of light for people who think like, you know, you guys make it look easy, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, from me being behind the scenes and trying to do so many different things in entertainment, music, you know, a little bit of film producing or whatever it is we're gonna land on. But in order to solidify funding for these new projects and events that come up, what is a little bit of the process? You know, for PSA, like you have to have a like a proposal, a business plan, or yeah. So basically, like we um, we look for fun for uh, we fundraise through two avenues. Um, basically, like private donations um, via services that we that we provide. So like if we make a, if we paint a mural for somebody, part uh, like what they're paying as part of it is going to the organization so that we can run our programs. Um, and then we also pay a stipend to the artists and stuff like that. So then we collect money that way and that helps us run our, our organization. The other thing is um, is grants. So with grants, every grant is totally different from the from the next. Um, so one, some of them are like project specific. So there may be a grant down there that is looking to fund a an event downtown in a specific city. So we'll we'll apply for that for that grant we have to write down our our uh, business plan towards the grant and apply for it hope that we get it pretty much um and then there's some grants that they just they uh they they um they give out uh, grants to specific organizations for specific things that are already doing yeah. what you're doing yeah so like- it's very rare that you see a grant that is just like oh here's a bunch of money to do whatever you need to do with your organization no, it's, specific- it's usually sp- for specific things so you have to report back to them um and basically like all right so the project is finished this is what we did this is how we spent the money so and then it, it like basically the um 
credibility of organization has a lot to do with it too so like basically if um you have a well-run organization and they can see that through the paperwork and through um any any form of of, of proof that you can show them it, it works better for you and then basically you can eventually get the grant if your history and resume speaks for yeah. itself yeah so what is your exact position within the company like what's your title as of now and i think it's pretty much always been my title except now i'm vp so i'm, I'm vice president of um creative direction of of positive street art so basically i'm the next person next to the president of the organization awesome nice yeah. job thank you so how can people get more information on you and your talents because i've known you for a long time and i remember you dabbled with photography you know graphic designer you have a graphic design company so it's like if people want to get in contact with you either whether it's for psa or for your talents in general because you're also a painter like you did sculptures you built coffee tables out of skateboards or is it skateboards out of coffee tables <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so um i mean I, I dabble into a lot the thing is with me is is just having fun that's 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 the best thing so like i could be working on a project right now that i'm kind of like um having a few challenges on and then i see another project that's going to be fun and carry me through the other project that i'm that i'm challenged that i'm having a challenge with i'm going to go with that fun project first um and whether that's something is usually the fun projects are something that's new so like when i got into building stuff i kind of always like been messing around with like whether it was woodworking and stuff like that growing up so i kind of knew a little bit but when i wanted to like actually build something cool um it, i didn't really know how to go about it so i just had to like do all the research and it was fun for me to like do all that research and like learn from scratch and like you know uh the whole uh um Building. trial and error and like yeah. you know like you know i built this but it's, it looks doesn't look great so it's i'm like gonna, I'm gonna do it again yeah yeah exactly so like that's a lot of fun um so i would put a, a project that i'm working on on hold so that i can um basically have some fun and then get some like um once that once that project is done and over with the fun project once the fun project is done and over with i have like clear all vision, this yeah. clearer vision like and, and way like a the... lot of inspiration to kill to like just finish the other it's project over that I'm... for this now <laughs> yeah so like basically like just it builds um confidence you know so like if if i'm working on something that's giving me some challenges and then i run to go in, and to do something that's fun and i finish it completely um it builds confidence and i'm like ha, i can tackle the other project no problem i can do this and then and especially being away for the other from the other project for so long it'll kind of give me a fresh clear mindset. fresh start yeah so i dabble into a lot of things i've done like i've done some sculptures i've done some like uh, woodworking crafty stuff um muraling is my very first love and like uh, that's if, if i could choose one thing to do forever like that was that's what i would choose is, is muraling um, um but I, 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 I paint on canvases um i use di all different types of, of, of mediums um I, I do graphic design i went to school for graphic design so like that's like my second love right there like i like whenever i'm not out on, 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 a, on a wall painting um on my computer kind of figuring out what's the next like cool trend in graphic design to like put out there to the world and then basically like whatever i have a job i do i go above and beyond to learn what's what's within the next you know like the next trend um so that whenever i deliver a project they're totally taken away by what i what i delivered so that's that's awesome. what i that's what i go towards Oh, my brother, I just wanted to say I'm super proud of the stuff you did. Like, you have, like, great talent, man. And to see you start from, like, drawings on the walls and the pads and stuff and dealing with different stuff to where you are now, it's just, it's a blessing, my brother. And I hope that everything keeps continuing to grow for you and your organization. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, how can people get information on contacting Mr. Ramirez? Is it, what, Gate City Graphics? Yeah, so um, Gate City Graphics is, Gate City Arts and Graphics is the company that I run right now. My personal company, um, uh, my, my business. Um, they can either email me on uh, uh, gatecitygfx at gmail.com or just go to my website, Gate City Graphics, and then um, put in a, a contact thing on there. Um, to get in contact with me, whether it's you want to collab with me or you want to, um, or you have something that, Work that for I can hire. help you out with, you know. Um, 
So yeah, and um, first and foremost, I would say go check out Positive Street or go check out what we do. Uh, we do a lot of stuff for our community, even though that you might not be, this this um, outlet might not be um, local to, to Nashua, but I think it's really cool to check out. So um, PositiveStreetArt.org or um, Facebook.com Positive slash street Positive Street Art. Art. Um, or Twitter, um, on Positive Street Art on Twitter too. We're on Twitter. You guys know we're on Instagram. Uh, picture on Instagram. Yeah, uh, we're Positive Street Art on Instagram too. We got tons of photos on there. We keep up. We keep it updated. Um, like it'll show show you like our trips, the, the place, the things that we do, the places that we've been, um, all the murals that, we, that we've done, um, the people we we come in contact with on an everyday basis. Well, not not exactly everyday basis, but a pretty. Um, it's a pretty, work in progress frequent. constantly yeah. and you guys are always doing something and that's yeah. that's awesome in itself, man. So you didn't have get a chance to happen to remember any funny stories, yo, we're gonna have to do that interview too. <laughs> <laughs> um Nah, I'm not like the funniest guy. All right, all right. Nah, I just figured. Pre- there's, this one there's time. There's been so many stories. All right. And then I could probably think of a funny story, but it wouldn't sound funny. You know what? It. It, it, it'll, when it pops back up, give me a call. I'll call Johnny. We'll record it and we'll have it up on either Hot on the Block or, you know, Johnny has a whole bunch of stuff that he's trying to do. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. Money Flip Media. This is Casper Veli the Belly. Over here with Manny Ramirez, Thank also you, Casper. Felony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my artist name is Felony, um, and then my boy Casper right here. Thank you for putting some, shedding some light on what we do. I appreciate that. I appreciate the love. No always. problem, my brother. So keep doing what you do. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? We'll do, we'll do for sure. And let's get it. Yeah. Cheer, cheer, cheer. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta how to do it for money flip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's kill this. What's that like 10?